Hey, gorgeous soul, welcome to Weekly Astrology. And this week, woo, the vibes are high. We've got a full moon in lovely Leo, making us feeling creative and inspired and bright and passionate about life. We've also got Venus, the planet of love, and Pluto, the lord of transformation, coming together. It's a passionate time and a lovely Sun and Jupiter conjunction, making us feel hope and have possibility soaring in our heart. Here's your weekly astrology. Hey Sagittarius, this week offers you a great opportunity to change and also you're waking up to, to wanting to communicate more. You know, I've been various times uh, over the past 12, mo 12 months where Everybody, even the most outgoing character, which Sagittarians usually are, has gone into hermit mode or not felt like communicating because everything was overwhelming. This week, you want to talk, you want to chat, you want to share your news, you want to share your ideas. And your ideas are really powerful. It kicks off with the sun squaring Uranus. Um, and it's saying to you, I'm going to deliver you an opportunity, but... And it's an opportunity to put your ideas out there or, or a conversation that you've been waiting for but you have to be practical. You have to be able to show that whatever you want to put out there or whatever conversation you have, you can back it up with a practical way of dealing with it should it be something that you want to achieve or something you want to do. So can you back up your fabulous genius ideas with practicality? Now is your time to do that. The full moon is in your adventure zone. It's in your kind of a, a similar energy to you. It's about expansion. It's about travel. It's about feeling a desire to stretch yourself and open up to a whole new world of possibilities and a whole new unique way of seeing things, which is your natural vibe. And this full moon is opposing Jupiter, the planet of good fortune, in your idea zone. So ideas, communication and talking will bring fabulous things to you potentially, particularly as the sun is joining forces with Jupiter in your communication and idea zone. Wow, I mean, that is full on. The news that you are having is... At, just so important. So really focus on what you're saying. Focus on what other people are saying. Delve into the subjects you're interested with and something fab and amazing could happen. Now, Venus, the planet of love, is joining forces with Pluto, the lord of transformation, in your security zone. There's likely to be a big shift in energy where you suddenly see what is important to you and what is of value to you. And also, you're valuing yourself in a new way with this massive shift of energy. Now, of course, um, we do have Mercury going retrograde on the 30th. So all of these brilliant ideas, make sure that you are kind of putting them out there. You are developing them. You are working on them. You're talking to the people you want to talk to before the 30th. Yes, Mercury's in retro shadow, but it does start to get sketchy after the 30th. This is an exciting week where you, your mind is lit up with possibility. Take care, gorgeous, and I'll speak to you soon. The purpose of a reading, I feel, is very much to inspire people and to empower people. It's about hope. It's about guidance. Using a phone or being with you, it will be the same because the matter is spiritual. It's very important for me that the client feels spirit with them. So it was a psychic reading. I don't remember the readings right after because it's not myself giving that. It's actually coming from spirit. And it is a bit like three-way conversations. I've got the person on the phone, I've got me, and I've got another voice that's telling me things. I even shock myself, things that I come up with, and I think, how did I, I get that? I'm channeling messages only for, for one purpose, to, to help people. It's been able to help somebody have a map back to where they've got lost from. My priority is to connect to your truth and have the best life that you can have. I think in my readings people feel a sense of a safe space where they can really be themselves, let go. You need a feeling of being understood because reading should be empowering. I will make sure when the reading is finished that you're happy with everything. I, I couldn't do anything else. It's, it's, it's part of who I am. It's what I came here for, obviously. And when they come back and tell you they've got their dream job or the love of their life, that really makes me feel like I'm valued. I love to hear a sigh of relief. 
a lot of weight has been lifted off their shoulders. We have the answers that we are looking for within ourselves. I know I have the tools to help you. Everything begins and ends with you.